Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, we made it to a, another weekend. So I hope everybody's got some uh, good plans for, for the weekend. Of course, you all know me. Uh, I don't have anything uh, planned. Uh, supposed to get some uh, snow uh, this weekend. So I doubt if I um, do anything tomorrow or Sunday because uh, the last weather forecast uh, that I seen last night we're supposed to get anywhere from four to six inches of snow this weekend so but I hope it don't I mean I hope we don't get that but if we do we do um, you know just one of them things we just you know uh, can't tell mother nature what to do I mean she's gonna do what she's gonna do uh, I think the the weather guy I was listening to last night, he said right now it's still uh, set out in the Pacific Northwest, which is out in the Seattle, Washington area, and he said it's going to come onto the jet stream and <clears throat> come this way, uh, you know, tonight and into tomorrow and uh, start snowing. I think the worst of it uh, is supposed to be uh, Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. That's when the biggest majority of it but it's supposed to get some you know supposed to get some flurries and things tomorrow but i think the, the worst of it is supposed to be on sunday so well i'm just one of them wait and sees um you know back in the summer i couldn't wait for the, the cold weather to get here you know because i wanted a break from the heat um now i'm ready for spring uh, I don't know, I'm just one of them foul weather friends, you know. Sometimes, you know, you're, you want to get out of the, you know, get out of the heat and things. And you just don't get no relief in the summertime from the heat. Um, you know, like we do, usually, usually did, you know, when I was growing up, you know, it, it was constantly raining and, uh, things like that and couldn't hardly get anything done <clears throat> now uh, I'm, you know I'm getting up in the years now and I don't think it rains as much as it used to <clears throat> sitting here looking outside looks like it's been raining or getting ready to because it's awful cloudy and looks like it's uh, a little foggy looks like the fog's left a little bit um, when I went to bed, uh, the windshield on my vehicle, it was, uh, had frost on it. So if I'd went anywhere, I'd had to scrape the frost off, but I ain't gone nowhere. Um, since I got up, I got my laundry going, I stripped my bed. Um, gonna uh, put a new uh, sheet set on it here directly. I don't know, I don't know what color I wanted to go. I've got, I mean, I've only got three sheets. I had four, and one of them <clears throat> was taken out of the dryer when I wasn't looking. I, I, I forgot about my uh, blue sheet set, and it was uh, taken out of the dryer. I don't know who took it or what their purpose was for taking somebody else's stuff. So uh, I just took the red one off. It's in the washer. So I can either put, the, put a gray sheet set on or go with the tail, or wait until laundry's completely done and go to Walmart and buy a new, uh, uh, another sheet set. I don't know what color I would want. <clears throat> um, the comforter that I use you know, on the bed is red. Um, so I've already got a red sheet set. So if I put the tail one on, I may need the red, the farm, the farm, quilt off and put the put the giant teal comforter on the bed uh, but I don't know I don't know what color uh, I want to do because uh, if I put the teal one on with the green then that's Christmas colors Christmas is over so yeah I know I'm weird but <clears throat> uh, that's just what I associate um, green and red with is 
uh, Christmas. So I don't know if I'll put the put the teal one on or not, or just go with the gray one. I may go with the gray one, uh, just for a simple fact. I think I, I, it's not been on. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've had the gray one on, so it'll probably be um, the gray one. Because before the blue one got stolen, it was between the, the blue one and uh, the teal and the red. Is usually the three I've done the most. So I'll probably uh, dig out the gray one and put it on. And, you know, that way it can uh, match uh, outside, match the gray skies and all of that. And, uh, yeah. So. Not a whole lot going on um, today. Like I said, I'm just doing laundry. Um, I think I may have to try to fire up the uh, vehicle sometime today. I need to uh, get a loaf of bread. I run out of bread yesterday. And uh, Monday, I'm going to go uh, do a uh, big grocery shop Monday because I haven't had coffee in a week. I'm about to climb the walls because uh, I ain't, uh, ain't had the caffeine that uh, I normally do in the mornings. I guess I could <clears throat> open a can of pop, but it's just too early in the morning for uh, a Pepsi or a Mountain Dew or a Diet Mountain Dew. So before I started filming this, I uh, got me a drink, a drink of my flavored water, and I need to get another <clears throat> one of them. Uh, Oh, yeah. I like my flavored water. Uh, I have tea in there. I ain't been drinking much of it. I think I still got several bottles of it. Uh, I may substitute uh, tea today for, or substitute pop today for tea. Uh, give my Pepsi and Mountain Dew and Diet Mountain Dew a break and drink some tea with uh, lunch whatever that's going to look like. I have no idea. I don't know. Um, there for a while I've been craving um, tacos, but the more the more I think about it, man, I just don't want to I just don't want to do it. I'm kind of burnt out on tacos <clears throat> things like that. Um, so that's why I haven't been doing them. Um, I was talking to who, um, uh, my BFF on FaceTime the other night and we were talking about doing a meatloaf. Uh, she's going to do um, a meatloaf, but she didn't have the meatloaf pan. And uh, I said, well, I've got meatloaf pans, but I have no idea how to make meatloaf. Um, I, I've got a, a kind of general, general idea how to do it. Um, you know, I'd have to go all the way back to you know, when I was um, staying with my mom when I was in high school, I think I made one then and trying to remember everything I put in it. And, but uh, I may try to do that. I may try to uh, get all the ingredients together and uh, make a, make a meatloaf. So let me uh, speak of meatloaf. I'm gonna, I want everybody's opinion. So when you when you make a meatloaf, what is the thing that everybody uses to, you know, to bind it together, to hold it together? Some people say use crackers. Some people say um, use breadcrumbs. Uh, for me, uh, when uh, mom was helping me do one, we put, you know, put the ketchup and a raw egg and. Um, crackers put crackers in it and uh, just mi mixed it all up put it in uh, meatloaf pans but uh, somebody else you know I was making having this discussion with somebody else uh, and they said well they use uh, breadcrumbs to pull the, you know to bind their meatloaf together and form and all that I said well what's What's the best? What's the best 
I mean, or, uh, some people make, you know, put it in a round cake pan. I've got two, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess they're right, well, I'll cook, I can't call them right tango. They're oblong uh, meatloaf pans. I've got two of them. They've never been used. Um, another thing, I think I've got two uh, muffin tins, uh, pie pan, or yeah, muffin tin, pie pan, or well, they're not pie pans. They got the hose in them, you know, you pour the butter and stuff and make uh, cupcakes and that. So, making them would be easier to put uh, the little, you know, the little uh, cups in there, then pour the stuff in to make, you know, the cupcakes, or just pour the batter into the, uh, you know, grease it, then pour the batter into the hoe itself, or put the, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, the little, when you buy the cupcake, it's got the little, um, um, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, I can't, th I can't think. My brain is not awake yet. But, would it be easier to do that, you know, just, set that little cupcake holder thing in there that's what i'm gonna call it then put the butter in that or like i said grease grease the hoe then put the butter in that which would be the, you know what should be the best you all you know you know some of you people that watch my blog i'm sure you're you know you're you do the bacon and all of that <clears throat> i just do the stuff that i know how uh yeah i've made a uh, a meatloaf before but it's been a long it's been a long while well, it's been in the 80s since I made a meatloaf I mean I've had meatloaf before other people's made it but for me personally it's been well I guess my senior year in high school when uh, you know when I stay with my mom uh, you know so I could go because where she lived at I could just walk to school that's why I uh, preferred to stay with her when I was you know, going to a senior in high school and we made uh, that so I mean you all let me know let me know what's you know what's the best to do you know crack you know I'm gonna do uh, a debate crackers versus breadcrumbs and a meatloaf you all tell me what's the best for that and also the debate on the, the cupcake cups um, you know is it best to put them in the hoe then pour the butter in man or grease it then put the butter in that um, it's a it's a friendly debate that um, I, I want to have with um, you all you know I'll take suggestions from everybody uh, weigh the best ones and do uh, do what's right um i'm sure i'm sure i'm going to listen to you know everybody else because everybody else is smart than me because they've done it more than i have um i've never i've never made i've never attempted to make uh cupcakes or anything like that i've, I've baked cakes cakes and brownies before I've, I've done that but i've never made i've never tried to make a cupcake um and I would like to try to do that. Um, I've seen uh, some, excuse me, uh, wow, acid reflux is kicking up on me. So sorry about that. Uh, I haven't, and I haven't had anything to eat or anything for the acid reflux to be doing that. So I don't know what caused that. So anyway, getting back to the, the meatloaf and cupcake discussion. So when I was, the last time I was in um, Walmart, I seen a box, um, I think it was uh, a couple weeks ago. I seen a thing to make uh, confetti cupcakes. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's just cupcakes and you put uh, sprinkles and things on it. But I would, I'm on, I'd like to try my hand at that because like I said, I've never made cupcakes um, probably sometime here today um, I'm gonna bake a, I got a bag of cookies 
up in the freezer. I think I'll pull it out and find my baking sheet um, and uh, do that. Oh, there's another thing we can have a debate on. I did, and I was discussing this with uh, the BFF last night. So when I get on my cookie sheets when I'm baking, I like to put aluminum foil down because I've got wax paper, but when I tried, when I put wax paper down the first time I ever used it, I was doing cookies. Well, that wax paper burnt. So is it better to use aluminum foil, you know, to put stuff on the bake? Or should I try, you know, the wax paper again? So, I mean, I've got both. Uh, like I said, when I've done... When I done the wax paper, I mean, I had this, um, you know, discussion last night. Um, I mean, I want I want everybody's um, opinion. You know, what all you all use. I'm you, I'm going to take everybody's um, recommendations into consideration and all of that. Um, I, when I, like I was telling my BFF when this is, I think I done the cookies when I had. The old, the old stove, and that's when um, it wanted to burn everything. So now that I've got a brand new stove, I may try the, I may try to go back to the wax paper, you know, to do, the, you know, to lay it out and put the cookies on it. Um, but, you know, like I said, you all let me know what you all think. Um, you know, uh, you know, I like trying, trying everything. I, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll take everybody's uh, comments and things like that. Um, so just let me know in the comments. And uh, you know, I'll just have a um, friendly debate about that. You know, I mean, I like, I like debates. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, I ain't going to rule out uh, nobody's opinions, you know. Uh, everybody's comments uh, matter to me and that's why that's why I want them I want uh, then uh, when I do you know after I do this and have this discussion with you all about you know um, the best way to do things then I'll uh, mention in uh, the next vlog that I do you know which uh, route I went what worked you know the best and um uh, things like that so yeah so yeah per um you know watch my vlog you know um leave me comments uh, leave me suggestions because i i mean i want to know i want to know what you know how you all you know do your things and that way i can combine them and you know do you know and see what works the best because i don't know i mean i'm just I'm trying, I want to do different things. Um, I'm sort of stuck in a rut when it comes to uh, food. Um, like I said in previous vlogs, I'm burnt out on everything. I'm tired of everything. And I just want something um, different and new. Um, so yeah just let me know so this um i got like 30 minutes on um the washer but as slow as i've been talking and things um i'm gonna wrap this vlog up and uh, get this thing uploaded check and see if my uh wash needs to be uh, moved over to the dryer and things like that and decide what uh, sheet set I want to put on here. Like I said, I'll probably, I'd say 99 times out of 100, I'm going to probably go with the, the gray one since it's been uh, a while since it's been on here. Like I said, it's usually the blue one, the red one, or the teal one it's usually been on here the most. So I'd say, I'd say here shortly I'll uh, drag the gray one out and get this bed made uh, to my satisfaction. 
or I could just leave it like this for a while. Um, I don't know, I thought about uh, flipping uh, the mattress. I can't flip it over because it's got a, got a mattress protector on it. I mean, just, you know, I, I don't know what ends the head, what's, which ends the foot. I guess it doesn't matter because both say top, so I can just flip it around and put the, put the foot at the top and put the top at the foot. That's probably what I did. I'll just... You know, there's, it's all zipped up here, and I'll just slide it around and see what happens. Because uh, this side here is getting uh, kind of lumpy and all that, because uh, I just sleep on the, I, I guess, the right side of the bed, the side that faces that, the, you know, the, Closet doors is the side I sleep on, so standing at the foot of the bed, I guess it would be the right side of the bed. It's where I always sleep at. It's kind of lumpy. Uh, there's on me. Just flip it around and give it a rest and let the lumps get out of, get out of the mattress and things. Okay, so now I'm just rambling. Uh, this is almost up into 22 minutes. So I'm going to call it... Uh, an end to this vlog until the uh, until the next one like I said y'all let me know you know we can have uh, a good debate on what's uh, the best to use and uh, cupcakes and uh, meatloaf and uh, doing cookies and things either wax paper or uh, aluminum foil so let me know in the comment section below you know what all you all try um, and I will do it all. I will try it all. Um, yeah. So until the next vlog, you all have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And if you live uh, where it snows, and if you go out, be safe. Because like I said in the beginning, um, where I live at, the most of the snow is supposed to hit uh, Sunday. So I'm going to be... You know, I'm going to be in where it's uh, warm come Sunday. So you all do the same. Stay warm. Um, if you ain't talked to your family in a while, in a long while, uh, reach out to them. Tell them you love them and all of that. And uh, just love one another. You all have a fantastic weekend. Bye.